just wanted to make a quick video to discuss the performance of S&P index in the month of August. Uh, the the month just ended, so I figured it was time to just talk about how DEX did, how S&P did, and what are some of the things that we can learn uh, and talk about. So let's actually start right away. So we have the market DEX tool right now. For those of you who are not aware of this tool, it measures daily deltas from options flow across the entire market. And then it makes uh, an expectation or a prediction for the next day. If you're using uh, these bars alone and not the moving average, you can turn this uh, off by just clicking, clicking on it. Then it's just predicting the movement of the next day. If you're also using a moving average of text, then you are not just predicting the movement for the next day, but also for the next couple of days. So it just smooths things out. All right. So that's what we have. Uh, with market decks, it's a very uh, simple tool. Uh, what can you do with it and what strategies there are? So we are only going to discuss the two very simple strategies today. One is you look at uh, each bar and let's just pull in the last 30 days of data and just uh, and let's turn off the moving average. So you look at each bar. So let's uh, say we have a red bar on August 19th. You look at that bar and that bar updates every 15 to 30 minutes during the day on August 19th. But this is a prediction for the next day. So don't use the same bar for that day, at least for right now with more advanced strategies. And you can watch some videos on uh, slightly advanced strategies in a, on our YouTube channel. But sticking with simple strategies, uh, you are looking at this bar. It's a red bar and let's say the day ends or 30 minutes before the day is about to close you see this red bar what you now want to do is you want to short going into the next day or you want to short uh, when the next day opens so you can either short shares and we'll talk about that strategy uh, or the performance of that strategy or you can also buy put options at the close of when you are seeing this bar or at the open of the next day uh, you can buy a put as well and then you can see that uh, the next day we did go from about four about 420 uh, to about 415 or 410 so this was a pretty good red bar that predicted that predicted the move uh, for the next day and with this strategy uh, you have like two variations one either you go in at the close of the prior day when you are looking at this bar and exit at the close of the next day or you go in at the open of the next day using the bar from the previous day and exit at the close of the next day and so you always have to uh, like close at the end of the day unless your stop loss is hit. So we do have uh, a stop loss as well and we always want to use it. 1% works really well for shares and about 20% works well for options contracts that are slightly out of the money and that are three to four weeks out. So just some uh, simple things that we have observed over the last couple of months. Uh, if we uh, backtest this strategy, then it worked, it worked pretty well. Uh, let's start from the start of august which we were sitting at about 81.1 percent returns and these are cumulative returns and uh, now from august uh, first onwards let's see what happened till uh, the end of august we ended august at about 87.9 percent returns so that's about like six to seven percent returns that we got in august now if you look at uh, snp snp started at about uh, three uh, four zero eight on August one and then we ended at about three ninety five so that's a loss of about three percent so if you just bought uh, S and P at the start of August and you are exiting at the end of August you will have a loss of about three uh, percent what happened if you bought S and P at the start of every day and you close that position at the end of every day similar to how we are doing with Dex we'll talk about that in a minute but just the buy and hold strategy for Spy obviously did not work well uh, at all. Now the results that we are seeing here are for a close to close strategy where we are uh, buying at the close of prior day and exiting at the close of current day. Uh, let's also look at some. Uh, let's also look at the results for what happens if you do the open to close where you are buying at the open of the day and e exiting at the close. So these are the results uh, for just August. Uh, the white is the S and P where you buy spy at the open of every day and you close it at the close of every day. And that strategy gave you about a loss of 2%. Uh, now let's assume you, instead of buying, since let's say we assume that since market is overall still bearish, let's say we short every day, and uh, that would have given you about 1% to 2% positive returns. So that's a fairly uh, valid strategy as well. Like if for some reason you knew that August was going to be a red month, you could have used that strategy. 
but what a dex is giving us is it's giving us the direction every day so it's not a monthly direction we can change directions if market suddenly starts going very bullish dex will help us and we will start going bullish as well now the the blue and yellow bars are the dex uh, the, the, the performance of dex and these are cumulative performance starting from august uh, 1st all the way to september 1st and you can see that uh, for the close to close we got around 6 to 7 percent returns and for the open to close we got around uh, 3.5 to 4 percent returns now you might be inclined to just start using the close to close strategy here but please uh, keep Please keep it in mind that the close to close strategy also includes these gap ups or gap downs in the pre market and in after hours. And so just be aware of that because that adds additional risk. Let's say there is a 3% gap up or gap down in the opposite direction of where you went in, you will incur a big loss and your stop loss won't really work here. The open to close strategy is a lot more simpler because you have full control over your stop loss, your profit targets, and everything. So hopefully, as long as you're aware of the pros and cons here you should be completely fine now let's actually uh, go back and so this was this was not just august where uh, dex did really well apart from like in april and may last year dex has been working really well over the last like entire year and we have gained just based on the close to close strategy about 80 to 90 percent returns in just one year and these returns are all on shares so this is uh, sometimes people get it wrong these are not options returns if you were uh, like trading options and if you were careful and let's assume you are uh, somewhat of a pro and you have your own strategy as well if you are coupling what you have learned in trading or what you know yourself with this simple strategy then uh, your gains would hopefully be much better than without this strategy one thing that we did introduce just recently is these stats that act actually work on top of options flow so what would happen if you actually try to trade options contracts instead of shares and you can see these stats for every day we will soon run back tests on them but basically as long as you have about a 20 to 25 percent stop loss and your contracts are uh, slightly out of the money and three to four weeks out uh, you will you will get really really good returns uh, in the long run uh, we, we did some uh, back test and over the last year uh, just following this simple strategy and doing open to close not close to close with options contracts uh, gave you about 700 percent returns now i know some of these numbers might be too good to might seem too good to be true uh, and they, they seem too good to be true to me as well like to be very honest but i keep running these back tests they keep working out we have been using this strategy uh, in like our actual live accounts my account is up about 12 to 13 12 to 15 percent in the last week but that's just again uh, one week so we will know more things about the strategy in the long run but in the short run ever since we have launched it we have run back tests we have actually spent our own money on the strategy and this has been working pretty well obviously you can see friday was a bad day uh, and let's not look at a weekly contract let's look at uh, something that's like one or two months out so you can see like the loss was much higher than the max profit and that just means like it was a bad day you should have gotten stopped out uh, on friday and the prediction for dex which was a bullish prediction did not pan out uh, very well i would like to mention that dex uh, it's only about 60 percent accurate uh, but in trading as long as you are getting anything that's more than 50 percent which is a random chance you can usually make it work as long as you have good risk management so the power of dex comes from one when it it works it works really really well and when it doesn't work we have a stop loss in place both for options and shares so that's where like the entire power we obviously the accuracy is more than 50 percent so it's not just a random chance but then we also have uh, we, we see that in good days it works really well and you get a lot of profits and since your stop loss is never hit you there, there's no profit tar target you have to exit at the end of the day uh, typically uh, in, in the long run your profits are much much higher than the, the stop losses or your losses in the month of august uh, the open to close strategy only uh, hit its stop loss two times and the close to close hit it three times so we were not really uh, that inaccurate in the month of august obviously the last day which was actually september so not august uh, th this day like it did not uh, work that well so let's draw it again yeah so we had a bullish prediction going into 
सेप्टेम्बर सेकेंड बट मार्केट एक्चुअली मूव डाउन अबाउट टेन टू फिफ्टीन डॉलर विच वॉज अ बिग मूव डाउन विच इज़ वाई यू नीड स्टॉप लॉस इज इफ यू डिड नॉट हैव अ स्टॉप लॉस यू प्रॉब्ली वुड हैव लॉस्ट अ लॉट मोर मनी देन यू वुड विद अ स्टॉप लॉस सो हॉप दिस हेल्प्स जस्ट सर ऑफ क्लैरिफाई सम रिजल्ट गिव यू सम मोर कन्विक्शन एज टू हाउ हाउ दिस टूल वर्क वी डिड जस्ट पोस्ट अ वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू एक्चुअली यूज मार्केट डेक्स इन कंजंक्शन विद मार्केट नेट फ्लो टू इम्प्रूव योर गेन्स एंड लिमिट योर रिस्क प्लीज डू वॉच दैट इज द लेटेस्ट वीडियो it's the video i believe right before this one or there might be another video but please watch that uh, that should hopefully be very useful as well and just like spend time with with the dex tool uh, and see if uh, it's something that works well for you uh, we we created this tool for people who who are in offices these days and who can't spend much time so 5 to 10 minutes is all we typically require if you, if you're just using the close to close or open to close if you do want to use market net flow and sort of if you do want to add your own uh, flavor on top obviously you can do that but in general you can uh, see we we nailed the the up direction pretty well then this these like couple of days were not that good but once the bars got a bit bigger then we nailed the up direction again then once the bars got red then we nailed the down direction and then towards the end of the month we were very accurate in predicting the entire move from 415 all the way to 390 So that's it about the video. I wanted to keep it short, but still discuss some results. Uh, hopefully, you like the results, and hopefully, you will spend some time with the tool. Uh, let me know uh, what is your experience with the tool. Are you like profitable? Are you making money? Are you not understanding the tool well? Let me know if you have any questions. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys around.